In this video, we will discuss solving problems applying normal curve concepts. For our first problem, the result of nationwide tests and statistics are normally distributed with mean of 90 and a standard deviation of 15. Find the row score such that 80% of the cases below it. The givens from our problem are the population mean equals 90, the population standard deviation equals 15, the score below the mean is 80%, 100% minus 80% equals 20%, the score below the mean. In this, we can choose which probability to deal with. It can be 80% or 20%. In our solution, first step, draw the appropriate normal curve. In this solution, we choose 20%. Selecting 20%, this is in the right of Z we want to locate. And we know that 20% is the same as 0.2000. Next, we will find the area between Z equals 0 and 0 0.3000. Where is 0 0.3000 came from? The half face on the right of the mean which is 0 is 0 0.5 thousand. The 20% is 0 0.2 thousand. So, 0 0.5 thousand minus 0 0.2 thousand equals 0 0.3 thousand. Next, use the Z table to find the nearest value to 0 0.3 thousand. And from the Z table, the nearest area is 0 0.2995. Next, find the Z value corresponds to 0 0.995. And from the Z table, it is 0 0.84. To solve for X or the raw score, much better if you will modify the formula. Next, multiply both sides by the standard deviation or the delta. Delta of standard deviation will be cancelled, so we have Z delta equals X minus mu. Then transpose mu, so the formula for row score or X equals mu plus Z delta. Next, substitute the given values to the modified formula. So we have X equals 90, which is the mean, plus Z score is 0 0.84 times 15. If we will solve this, it is equivalent to 102.6, round off equals 103. Therefore, in the distribution, 80% of the scores are below the score 103. As I said earlier, we can choose also 80%. Selecting 80%, it is the same as with 0.8000. To find again z equals 0 and 0 0.3000, we will subtract 0 0.8000 minus 0 0.5000 equals 0 0.3000. Then locate 0 0.3000 on the z table. It is nearer to 0 0.2995 whose z score is 0 0.84. Next, modify the formula then substitute the value on the formula to get the value of x so therefore it is also the same it is equal to 103 problem number two the result of a nationwide test and statistics are normally distributed with mean equals 90 and standard deviation equals 15 find the raw score such that 40 percent of the cases below it Again, the givens are mean equals 90, standard deviation is 15, 40% score below the mean, 60% score above the mean. Again, we can choose 40% or 60%. For this solution, we choose 40% which is located at the left of the mean or zero or at the left half face of the normal curve. Again, 40% is the same with 0 0.4 thousand. Next, we will find the area between Z equals 0 and 0 0.4 thousand. And that is 0 0.5 thousand minus 0 0.4 thousand equals 0 0.1 thousand. Using the Z table to find the area of 0 0.1 thousand, the nearest area is 0 0.987. 
from the Z table again, 0.987 corresponds to 0.25. Since the area is located at the left of the mean, so 0.25 will become negative 0.25. Substituting that value on the modified formula, so we have x equals 90 plus negative 0.25 times 15 equals 86.25 round off equals 86. Therefore, in the distribution, 40% of the scores are below the score 86. Problem number 3. The weights of 500 adults have a mean of 60 kilograms and the standard deviation is 5 kilograms. How many adults weigh between 50 kilograms to 65 kilograms? In the problem, the givens are x equals 500, mean is equal to 50, standard deviation is 5, once again, our step 1 on our solution is to draw the appropriate normal curve with the 6 scores. To determine the 6 scores, write the mean which is equivalent to 60 corresponds to 0 on the normal curve. Then the remaining scores will be plus 5 to the right and minus 5 to the left. To the right, we have 60 plus 5 is 65, plus 5 is 70, plus 5 is 75. To the left, we have 60 minus 5 is 55, minus 5 is 50, minus 5 is 45. After completing the 6 scores, place the row scores 50 and 65 under the corresponding row scores. Next, determine the Z scores of 50 and 65. The z-score of 50 is negative 2, the z-score of 65 is plus 1. From the z-table, look for the value of z equals negative 2, same as positive 2, which is equivalent to 0 0.4772. Also, z equals 1, which is equivalent to 0 0.3413. Next step, find the total area between the z-values that corresponds to 50 and 65. Since the area covers left and right of the mean, therefore it suggests addition. So we will add the two areas which is 0 0.4772 plus 0 0.3413 equals 0 0.8185. Therefore the probabilities between Z scores 50 and 65 equals 0 0.8185. To get the number of adults weigh 50 to 65 kilograms, multiply the total area by 500, which is the total number of adults and the result round off to the nearest whole number. So we have 0 0.8185 times 500 equals 402.25 rounded off equals 402. Therefore, the number of adults weigh between 50 kilograms and 65 kilograms is 402. In our last problem, in a job fair, 2,000 applicants applied for a certain job. The mean age of the applicants was found to be 24 with a standard deviation of 2 years. How many applicants are above 27 years old? The givens are x is equal to 2,000, mean is 24, standard deviation is 2. And we are looking for the probability that Z is greater than 27. Step 1, draw the appropriate normal curve with 6 scores. Since the mean is 24, write 24 corresponds to 0. And since the standard deviation is 2, plus 2 to the right, minus 2 to the left. So our 6 scores are 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. Step 2, Place the row score 27 under the corresponding row score. Then shade the required area which is going to the right of 27. Then using the formula, determine the Z score of 27 and this is 1.5. Next, using the Z table, find the Z value of 1.5 which is equivalent to 0.4332. Then, find the area of Z greater than 27 which is equivalent to 0.5000 minus 0.4332 equals 0 0.0668. To determine the number of applicants whose ages are greater than 27, multiply the total area by 2000 which is the total number of 
applicants and the result round off to the nearest whole number. So we have 0 0.0668 times 2000 equals 133.6 rounded off equals 100. 34. Therefore, the number of applicants above 27 years old is 134. Again, I am hoping that you learn from this video.